same in that look. Because it went down so well, and we've got tons of work on this week. Well, it's a week in shine, part two. Ready? You got oil in your head already? Yeah, good lass. Bella, going in your bed. Good girl. Sold some merch, mate. Yeah, some stickers. Let's see how you good. Wow, the action in that. I've so, done it that many times. <laughs> Monday morning. I'm having a bacon sandwich and we've sold a load of merch. So I'll finish my sandwich and I'll jump in and out Sam because there's some giveaway stickers and a hat. Still to send away. The key ring that sold for John asked to have one of them. Have you got some out? Okay, have you got some envelopes? I need to send some of these free stickers out. We've got some merch sold over the weekend, didn't we, lad? Yes. There's a hat and many, 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 many stickers and key rings and bits and bobs, and that's a key ring and a, that was a competition giveaway, and that was a competition giveaway, that one. And these, there is five stickers in here from competition winners as well. So we've got all the shipment ready, but what we're doing, we're just doing a bit of a stock check on all the stuff that we've got, you know. We've got plenty of these key rings. These are wicked, these key rings. Look at them. How good they are, front and back. Could just see you having that on your car key. Couldn't, couldn't you, Sam? See, all our viewers <coughs> need one of them. Yeah, see, look, and then when you, you're rolling like that, Look at that, let's crack on. Wake up in the morning, look at that, it gives you incentive. Just gonna go drop the merch off, just conveniently, at the petrol station, straight across the road that do the post. It's like, just the perfect location. I think we'll call this DPF Monday morning. So Sam's got a DPF to change out on this, and I've got a DPF to change out on that. Both customers have supplied their DPF filters. So hopefully, I don't know. Is it bad? Is it that bad? Where is it? Oh, where is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I'm working outside. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You've ten minutes to get yours off. You're gonna have to take the load off to do that. Yeah, then tie us up there. Right, I'll let you get on with that one, and then I'll get on and change the DP. I've got front pads to do on that as well, but I'm sure Sam would like to do that. But I've got to work outside, Sam's got to work on his knees. Hopefully it won't rain. Both of these jobs should see Monday out, in all fairness. I might be able to get on and have a look of a look at something else. I've got an MOT at two o'clock today as well. So, right, we'll just jump in and get on. I just got a free, a free bandana from Blueprint. But it's not really, it's a snail on it. Does that look better? Does that look better or does it look worse? This deep effort that we're doing, it shouldn't be that bad to do. So I'll get on and get it swapped out. So when you get yourself underneath and you can't see anything here like, and I've not got a torch, but I don't know if you can see them. And then it's got a massive anti-tamper device around it to stop people stealing them. That is wrapped all the way around. It goes around the chassis leg there. Oh, oh look at it. I think you got the easy one today. Ah, oh, I'll swap. Now that you're halfway through, yeah. I think it's time for some lunch. So, it's six o'clock at night at the end of Monday. Right, I've ended up doing some work with Sam, getting some bolts sorted out on that DPF. That's got to go back together, that's nearly done. This one has an anti-rattle, anti-nicking device, whatever thing, which took ages to get off and uh, i can't believe how long it's took me to do this so this is another great monday but at least we're earning money this week so yeah in the morning get that bolted back together and we've got booked in i think there's about three four mlts to get done this week as well so we are busy 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 so i'll see you tomorrow tuesday morning dpf time still everything's going back together on sam's and uh, i've had issues getting mine off so we'll just carry on i'm helping sam put the engine bed back in and then this one, hopefully be all right. There'll be no leaks when we start it up. All right, long one. All right. What are you doing today? Thank Have you come up to pick some, pick some, pick some, pick some, come, some bits of Pick some bits up. Nicely. Oh, don't, yeah, nice. Oh. Taking that bumper away. Yeah, cleaning it up for you. Look at that. I'm gonna do some work once. Look at that. Oh. Whoa. What's the wrap looking like then? Bellissimo. Is it looking nice? Like, 
Saturday. Oh, it's beautiful, and if anyone disagrees with me, they're dead to me. Well. Purple or blue. Go and check out Emily's video of the colour reveal. Sexy. I'll say that. Next week. No, this week. What's coming next week? Is it ultimate? Is it um, fans only? Yeah. Louis, Louis yeah, no. yeah? You're doing the fans 15. only, the pair of you, aren't yeah? £15 a month. £15 a month. Unlimited <laughs> access to unlimited <laughs> content. Same thing in our pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you are, there. <laughs> Where are you going to put this now? Yeah, we've been in the bottom and it's still not big enough. Just take the crash bar out if you want. Take yeah. it out. Yeah. Take it out here. Oh, you can fiddle around with them plastic clips because I've done that once before and I don't wish to do it again. You're far too tall. Third job. Did you have a good birthday over the week? I did, yeah. <laughs> but a bit too drunk. Yes. A bit too drunk, but it is worth it. Good man. Sam's taking a car for MRT. That van that was in here for the DPF is done and I'm now eventually going to start fitting that one back on. I had all the brackets, all the brackets have snapped. So, whoa, that's hot. So I've had all the brackets to weld back up. And that's why the flexi had gone. There was only one bracket holding the bit on. It's been welded there before. I've welded that up there. Nice and pretty. Because it's job anyway. Right, I'll get on and get this uh, DPF fitted finally. Day and a half. It's finished and it's the end of bloody Tuesday. Thankfully, well, it's not thankfully for us. That focus went straight through its MOT. Now, we sold it a year ago, so I'm absolutely buzzing, really, for the customer that it went straight through its MOT. Nathan's come to take uh, an exhaust off an old Subaru we have up the back. All right, Nathan. All right. Yeah. So we've got to get that MOT this week. We've got to put a turbo on that. That's in for a clutch and a flywheel. Um, that wants CV boots and a few other bits, I think. Yeah, so these DPF jobs are good paying jobs, so we, we have done all right out of these two. So that's the end of Monday. That's the end of Tuesday. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Watch the power of that, mate. Watch the power. Whoa. What day is it today? Thursday. It's not, you liar. What is that? That is a handbrake. Right, we've got a Mazda 2 that's just been dropped off to be checked around for some bits. So we've just got this Volvo in of uh, Wayne's pals. We're gonna see if we can get it through. It's MOT cheap as possible. And with it being Wednesday, it's our smart day. It comes every other four Wednesdays. What a proper truck that is. Yeah, you have to just take over the yard. I think that's the first time you've been able to pull in that far, isn't it? That, that, that far, yes. Truck's looking well. That's what he's pulling in for. I'm not washing it. I'm not washing it. Why not? Oh, not a chance. Oh, my God, you, you, you don't do much. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, well, don't spend a fortune on this I wagon. Need some of these. What's that? We haven't had any food. Hey, we need some of them. We haven't had any food. They're, they're, wa they're waste nappy rags, you know. Waste over from nappy factories. Look at this for a truck. Is that my barrel? Yep, that's the performing yeah. right here. That's, hey, I don't care if he's getting free. He just does what he wants. He's one of the, <laughs> he's, he's a big sponsor to our race car team, so we've got to show his business up. Big sponsor. Yeah, end of year's coming. They'll be having to get a new crate of new products. What are you doing in here? What are you doing? Thanks for a good service today, mate. No problem, Carl. Spent loads of money again. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Pleasure was all mine. You're welcome. Oh, Valley. I thought you'd have gone by now. How are you doing, mate? You all right? Is something wrong with your car? No, Nothing. Happy. Would you like me to fix your car? Not really, no. No, not, not now? Not now. <laughs> oh, that's still running. At least we know it doesn't overheat. You guys are coming along. It's crazy journey. Now, this piece of the door is actually quite difficult. Look at this. Wednesday afternoon. Look at that. How good is that? So that's grill 
infill is going on sitting behind here and i'm gonna get a light i'm gonna proper chav it up i'm gonna get a light so a little glow when i'm driving down the road it's actually not arrived in the post because the ball creations has actually <laughs> dropped it off because we're discussing some bits on the xrt so if you know nothing about his channel go watch it because he's just done that grill that carbon grill for me and he can do some tricky tricky stuff with carbon so yeah right we're going to discuss what we're doing with this but you'll have to wait and find out for that that's all that's all sorted we sorted their lights out and we put new caliper on the back and a pair of new pads and that is now ready for its mot tomorrow so the next one coming in is a mazda 2. right so the mazda we brought in i forgot all about it filming a week at shine because we were that busy the mazda 2 ended up having decent pads on the front it had a new exhaust as a gaping dash and I could not believe how much the exhaust cost for us to buy. Where's the, where's the screen going? I could not believe how much it was for us to buy the exhaust in. What expensive bits on them Master 2s are. Exhaust, race shoes, because the handbrake had no travel and one of the pads was off. And that's the end of Wednesday. Now we're dealing into Thursday. I'm up to see my mum because I'm so nice and she lives up out the way. So I'm taking her to Chinese as a bit of a surprise. I've told her not to cook any tea. So I'm a good lad. I've got the dogs to see me dad as well. So we'll see you on Thursday. Bloody hell, me and my days are terrible. But it's meant of bald creations to come today. Loads of people have been to see us today. It's really good. So loads of merch again. So all of you lot that are buying merchandise, thank you so much. The way the channel is going, I should hopefully soon be able to spend more time, Chinese falling over, more time getting on and actually doing the XRTT. But like this week, we need to make some money because we spent all week working on Emily's car. So we've just got to work around it. So yeah, thanks for your support. I love y'all. And we're nearly 10,000 subscribers, about 9,800 odd now, which is buzzing. What's up, mate? Go see Nana. Right. Whoa, we've fallen. See you Thursday! It's cold. Right, Thursday morning. I forgot to film the XC90 that we sold. We put an engine in. I told the customer to use it, put a couple of thousand miles on it, then fetch it back for an oil change. So that's been back in. Just had its oil change, and I think I've sold a Vauxhall, one of our Vauxhall and Signum. So I need to fetch that in quickly, check it over because it's booked in for MOT tomorrow. Then we can start on the Audi, which we've got to put a turbo on and loads of other bits. So yeah, I've got oil all over me. Gonna have a quick wash my hands and have a brew. I uh, went a bit do lally with the oil tray. There we go. Lovely. This lovely bit of French engineering has just turned up for an MOT. Very nice. It's getting to that time of year. It's getting cold. Proper cold. Yeah, well, this car has been sat for a long time. Look at the state of them discs. So we've got a new set of discs and pads to go on. Sam's just putting a spring on the back. And then we'll just whip round, check all the lights, all the bushes are good. And then we can get this in for MOT tomorrow and hopefully we've sold it. So that's got the new discs and pads on. Just another thing for MOT, which is nice. Look at that. It's gonna need a pair of tires. So we'll get a pair of tyres sorted for this and this is in MOT tomorrow afternoon. What we're going to do is bring the Volvo. Well, I've got Volvos on the brain. Is We're going to bring the Audi in and we're going to start going through the Audi. Now we've got loads of work this week on, so it's been really good. And sold sold a couple of cars. I flipped a car yesterday. I forgot all to tell you about it. Got a little Citroen DS. Bought it off a trader because the guy wanted a Citroen DS. Luckily found one. Bought one off a trader, flipped it. Made me sell a nice little day's wage. So there is, oh, wrong way around. So we have got a massive job of bits to go on this Audi. There's a brand new turbo, brand new service kit, and there's some gold paint because we're going to do the calipers gold as well. So on to Friday tomorrow. On to, on to the Friday, on to the next day. And um, yeah, it's wicked. And then I will be getting back on with that at some point. But like I say, you've got to understand, I've got to make some money. And last week was an abomination because we worked on Emily's Volvo for most of it. And we only really did two services. Didn't even cover wages or the week or week turnover. So in the next couple of weeks, I need to get me acting to gear and get some money back in the bank. And then we will be on with XRTT. But 
if you enjoy watching this, you enjoy watching it. If you don't, let me know down below. Or if you want to see more and like to see more in depth of bits, let me know. I have to think then. As always, is it time to go home? No, because we've got to go up to Middlesbrough now to get some bits for Emily for her Volvo that she's currently on, wrapping it and getting it ready for this show that we're off to next week. So I ain't going to have a chance to do a video next week, am I? Because the show's on the Sunday and we're going down Saturday morning. Ah! Don't know what to do, can I? I don't know. I don't, I don't think there'll be a video next week. I might try and get something done for the midweek. Or something, try and get something done this weekend, if I can. There might be an XRTT video. I might try and get a, a day on it on Saturday or something and make a video. I don't know. I've got loads to sort. I need to sort my wagon out as well. Because we've got loads of bits for the wagon. We've got a massive 10-inch doubled-in stereo. We've got a 10-inch sub. One of you lot is kindly sending a amplifier out at the moment. We've got some 6x9s. Got an old retro 10 inch sub. I used to have them 12 inch ones in my punto. But we're going to change all the roof lining out, change all this and re retrofit the dash. The 10 inch screen is going to be on there. It's going to have dash camera, reverse camera. Got about that. I've got nearly all the goodies now. I could maybe start doing that for next week's video. I don't know. I want this to do all that in one go. We'll see. Let's have a look at the bits anyway, let's have a look at the bits. Yes, yeah, so the Toto, which sent us out one for the um, Redford camper. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's quite a cool install, pretty retro. So they sent out this doubled in screen. Come on, they sent us out one. She's a big boy. And we've got a reverse camera for that and a dash cam that they sent out with that. Wicked they are, thank you Toto. And then we've got some Pioneer 6 b 9 some Pioneer door speakers. Ba, ba, ba. I'll tell you what I need to buy. Yeah, that's the, that's the, uh, some leads. That's in that. Oh, that's a little dash cam there. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's a little, no, that's a reversing one. So the dash one must be, must be in there, is that? I'll tell you what, the packaging is awesome. Yeah, so that's the dash one. For the dash cam but i think i'm using the truck to take emily's car so if i start doing this i need to do it in one episode tell you what i might do is get the roof lining ripped down and put the modern roof lining in because that's going to house everything i might start filming it but i want you lot to have a video next weekend but i just don't i don't know if it'll happen it might happen it might not i haven't missed a saturday upload probably one this year but hey oh there we go it is freezing oh we've got some hoodies coming as well we Mitty and sam have ordered one if you like them they'll be made to order because it's just a massive amount of money if i bought like 50 or 60 hoodies so they'll be made to order if you want a hoodie let us know and then i've got some hats coming as well so i'm dying to wear one of the last shine hats but i think i've got one somewhere i can't find it so this was a freebie one from mpd i am waffling some crap now aren't i right i'm just leaving Volvo Scrapyard Heaven and I'm going to say a massive thank you to Luke right because Luke in the background is a lad that's sorted us out with loads of 940s bits so Luke thank you very much for that cheers we got all the bits we needed didn't we pal yeah right so once again massive thank you to Luke Luke the Volvo spares man because I don't know his surname so I think we'll head down to Emily's tomorrow and we'll get the rest of these bits put on the Volvo I, I fancy some tea now you've had your dinner have you no nope. <sighs> I ain't brought me wallet. We could have had a KFC. Have you? Come on, let's go get KFC. After a long old day. All right, geezer. That's for me, yeah? Meow. Really? Really, right? After all that food, he's still getting more food. What you, what you got now? Is it one of them mad? No, both mine. What? Don't you dare, that <laughs> drops off my dashboard. <laughs> is it an Oreo one? Yeah. Yes, boy. What day is it? Shit, man. It's a lot of nothing. Oh, what? Does it need oiling or have you fixed it? You've fixed it, haven't you? It's not my laptop, not my problem. And we've got to put some brand new tyres on the front, so we've got some brand new um, mid-range Chinese tyres on it. No, it's got some mid-range tyres on it. Yeah? Yeah. What make of it? 
Chinese mate. Yeah, what's their mid range tailwind? Uh, called? It's called. It's not. They're not triangles. They're Delontes. Rec rectangles. No, they're not rectangles. You can't get rectangles or jalopies. De de right, that's the car ready for MOT. It's got budget tyres on and a good set of brakes on the front. The car was cheap. Only sold for 1,500 quid. What more do you want? Full diesel. It's had the two years ago. It had the. Two years ago, it had flywheel done and the clutch done. What more do you want? A big estate car like that for 1,500 bananas. Happy days. What do you reckon, Bella? Oh, yes, it's very, very affordable, good car. So the Volvo is ready to go. We ain't going to get round to doing the Renault this week. But if you want us to continue doing this, I might continue doing this. You need to let me know in the comment section down below. What we're going to bring in is the Audi and start working out a plan on the Audi. But all the bits haven't arrived. I've just been informed by Sam. Casey, how are you doing? Casey's having a day off. Why are you having a day off? Teacher's training day. So he's our, uh, he's our go for today. Ellie, what are you doing? What are you doing? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Ellie, come here. What have you been up to? Oh, oh, what have you been doing? Why are you skulking? Have you been a naughty girl again? So Sam is whipping the turbo off because we're changing the turbo out. The CV boots are gone on the outer. The wheels are going to go off at some point to get done in shadow chrome. If you don't know what shadow chrome is, I'll put a picture of shadow chrome on now. And I picked the colour. I think gold for the collapers is going to look well. And there's a, I think there's a massive service kit for this. All these filters. So there's a lot of filters and bits in there. And some, I think there's maybe a ball joint or a track of to do on it as well. I don't know. So we'll get on with this. This will take us up for Friday. We'll probably, this will probably still be on for Monday to finish off. Like I say, this content is very easy for me and Sam to film because this is what we're doing through the week. Especially when we're struggling and waiting for the gearbox to be fixed with the K and none of you really like watching the K videos. And obviously I know all of you want to be on with the seeing that getting worked on but we've got to make our bread at the end of the day are you doing funny fit funny things in the background you eh are you being a cheeky monkey what are you doing today you're going to do some graft the office needs hoovering He's just waiting for dinner tonight. yeah well if you don't hoover the office today right we're just having a sausage roll you're not going to be here anyway for lunch yeah oh don't say the mot's at lunch time yeah. i didn't book it in I, well, I only can book them in when they've got the slots. Didn't think about that, did you? Yeah, you're going to wait. You're not going to wait for me to have fish and chips Friday. You're just going to desert me. Are you saying not my job? Yeah. Not my job, not my problem. Well, what if I run off with all the money? How will you get your fish and chips then? Put some money on the pocket, won't I? I steal all your dad's money, so you can't have fish and chips. We'll just use the card on the phone won't we? I'll smash your phone <laughs> up with a hammer. I'll get them on tick. <laughs> <laughs> you probably could walk into the fish and chips there. I've done it before. I've forgot my wallet and they've let us pay because we spend that much money there. Right, so we'll just get cracked on with this. And then yeah I've got that MOT at half twelve I forgot about that. So hopefully that'll pass and then we can get the car sold. So I'm on my way back from test in the Vauxhall and Signum that we sold and Luckily, it went straight through, so I'm buzzing, so I'll get back to the garage and see how Sam's getting on with the Audi. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Dinner time. Is it dinner time? Oh, dinner time. Did you have fish and chips? No. Not Adam? So Sam has got the turbo fitted on the Audi and he's dropped the oil. Look at the state of that. Hey, get in your bed, you. You just look like you've been up to no good. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? How was the turbo job, mate? Crap. Man of many words. It was. You asked the question, I answered it. So last night... I'd gone to get some bits from this Volvo and got, I went and got this bracket and I ended up having to take the whole light out because I was getting very angry with this chicken ball to you. So I'm just going to get that off, get these bits sorted, chuck some tools in my van, chuck some masking tape and some bits of paint because I'll probably paint a few bits while I'm there 
and then get Eddie on down to Emily. The blooming radio and the insignia is not working, so Sam has just pulled that in to find out what, because the customer won't be happy for the bike, and they've got no tunes. You need the tunes in your motor. We had to sacrifice a socket because I was getting in a right mood using the more grips. All for that bracket. Look at me. The light does my hair really good down at this unit. I tell you what, this car is mega. Is a mega. Emily, I, I am proper impressed. She's not here, she's just gone to pick a car up. And I tell you what. You nearly cried when you cried. I did, I, had a, I, I, did, I did fill up. I had to go out of the way and wipe my tears. It looks mint. I'm down here helping getting a few trim bits sorted out. I'm gonna show you this car. You've probably already seen it, but the colour in person is a million times better than what you um, actually see on the camera. So let's have a look. Tell you what, Lou, you've done a mint job of tinting them windows as well, mate. They are proper, proper good. I tell you what, I'll be getting you to tint my uh, windows in my wagon, mate. You're, you're, you're gonna do me. You're gonna do it, mate. Because I know how hard it is on a heated window yeah. to not get a line that travels in between there. That is absolutely awesome. Well done, mate. I'm proper proud of you two. Like, just look at it. Look at it. Yeah, man. Practice makes perfect. in that look. This is absolute commitment. It is now nearly 11 o'clock at night. Getting all these little detail bits all done. Sticking the, the door pockets back on. All these trim bits, it's just subtle now. Got all that bottom sill painted. He's doing a good job, Dave. That's Dave the Rave. So yeah, I'm gonna go back onto it. Got all the, the rubbers round the windows done and all. They're all looking sick now. And got all this to sort out, get all these cleaned up and then get that glued back down with AIDS have just sprung. But look at that. Lights. Because I've done loads of wrapping to there, I get to a point where I'm like, I've had enough wrapping now. She can't be bothered wrapping anymore. Yeah. It's late, it's 11 o'clock at night, yeah. nearly. And we've been here since what, half 10, so, and I've wrapped a lot today. Sometimes I just get to a point where I've had enough. She's had enough. Right, I'm going to finish some painting and, and then I'm going home.